Hi, welcome to my latest candle video and I'm back with Yankee Candle and today I'm looking at the brand new Elevation Collection from Yankee Candle. Uh, just been released in the UK right now, it's in selected Yankee Candle stores. There are 12 fragrances initially, three of which I've got to try here. Um, there's a full list of all 12 along with the descriptions on my Andy's Yankees blog in the relevant article so uh, feel free to have a browse if you want to know more about them. Um, after the initial 12 come out, uh, in the early autumn another four fragrances are being added and then I do believe in the first half of 2019 another four are going on top of that. So Yankee are kind of going for this collection in a big way so let's tell you a little bit more about it. Uh, the first thing is uh, there are three uh, different sizes of tumbler. Um, there's a three wick medium tumbler, a small one wick tumbler and a large two wick tumbler and if you've seen the photos of these earlier in the year I don't think they really do them justice because if you look at them they're actually really nicely cut glass, um, very elegant, uh, they're lovely shapes, they look much better than the photos, <laughs> um, they're really quite sizable and then you, I put one of these up against a normal Yankee jar and it's pretty much it's slightly bigger so they're really quite sizable but they're very elegant, very contemporary style. Um, they're from the USA as well, uh, all shipped in from the USA, um, where this collection was previously released. Um, so let's explore a little more. As with everything Yankee, it's all about the fragrances. And this is my second or third attempt at this video, because I've had some uh, corruption problems with the data, so we'll see how this one goes. But I've actually managed to get through and burn all three because of that, so a bit of a bonus with my frustration at doing this video. Um, the first one I burned was Velvet Woods, which is a, the large two-wick tumbler. People have said they've had some problems burning them in the US, uh, they don't cool properly. There's always ways and means of pulling a candle. All I can say is the large one, certainly, that one I had in for about three hours, and as you can see I had a great pull on that one. It's soy wax, so um, you clip the wicks down fairly low, it keeps the flame still, and it doesn't react like it does with a two-wick paraffin candle which I know some other brands use. As you can see here, this is the three wick medium tumbler and the flames completely still. I'm getting a pretty good pull on that. I've had this on for about an hour and a half or so. Um, the smell's divine, I'll come on to that in a bit. But um, the two wick large tumbler, I didn't really have any problems pulling that. Three hours, um, which is about the same as a large jar and it was fine. So anyway, you stand them on these little platform lids like that and they're quite elegant and I'll make sure I don't make a mistake because if you lift it up with the lid it comes crashing down so there we go there's a little uh, rubber rubber plasticky footing in there which uh, means you can put them on the table you won't get any scratch marks and they just look really nice and elegant but anyway the scents <sighs> velvet woods they're all really nice I'm not just saying that they are they smell like high-end perfumes they're really great fragrances um, Velvet woods, lovely green soy wax, a nice deep woodsy uh, aroma, quite creamy, a hint of fruit. It's really nice, it was quite strong on burning, probably about three out of five on a throw. And as you can see, it's got these lovely kind of floral motif on the, um, on the label there. So let's have a look at this one. Velvet woods is a fragrant reminiscent of a stroll through rich woods teeming with exotic interludes of warm amber and a hint of sweet fruit blossoms. You have Velvet Accord as the top note, which gives it that lovely rich creaminess as your first impression. Tobacco flower, um, blackberry mellow and orchid in the middle, so a real kind of smoky floral hint of fruit coming on through as you burn it. And the real star of this is the ebony woods and amber at the base, which gives you that deep woodsy, lovely smell. Uh, Yankee Candle fans who invested in the limited editions last year, it's got a touch of that slight woodsy aroma that you've got with bourbon wood barrels. But it's uh, if you like your aftershavey, lovely fragrances, it's not a watery one, it's a woodsy, aftershavey, velvety fragrance. Really good, I like that one. Uh, the large tumblers burn for up to 80 hours, so probably about the uh, length of burn time as a medium jar, they reckon, but as I say, three hours in it only did a pull so you may get longer they do narrow down as they go down but they reckon up to 80 hours that's what the US website says on to the uh, small one then sheer linen 
and uh, those who know me and my Yankee favourites know that I'm not hugely enamoured with laundry type fragrances, but I'm pleased to report this is not like a laundry type fragrance. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, so this cute little jar that you can get in this elevation range, Sheila and me. Oh, it's like cotton and silk. If you can imagine grabbing handfuls of silk and having a fantasy fragrance of what that might smell like. It's creamy, it's fresh, it's like really luxurious cotton, not, you know, washed cotton. It's absolutely lovely. I'm really impressed with this one. It's quite possibly my favourite of the three, although it could be that one. So let's have a look at sheer linen. It says it's your favourite spot right by an open window. Linen sheets dancing in the breeze and the welcoming in the scent of fresh morning air. So you do get that fresh feel, but it's more than just linen sheets. It's really nice. I do recommend this one if you fancy trying something a bit more luxurious in the kind of Yankee laundry fresh sheets kind of type range. Fresh air accord and linen, the top notes, Mugwe and Cyclamen in the middle and Musk as a base note. So really nice again. And last but not least, I won't touch this one because it's burning, is the lovely Evening Star. Oh, lovely, lovely exotic fragrance again. It's deep, it's dark, it's mysterious. It's like you can imagine being out in the evening air looking up at the stars and there's your fantasy fragrance. Uh, again, comparisons in the Yankee range may be, if you remember anybody from the US or uh, UK have got the limited edition Black Sand Beach, a bit like that. It hasn't got the peppery notes that are in Black Sand Beach. It's much more creamy and more luxurious than, than Black Sand Beach. Very, very nice. A cooling fragrant blend of baby rose and juniper that's as powdery and promising as a wish upon an evening star. So, full on fantasy fragrance. Absolutely lovely. It's burning okay. I don't know if it's quite going to hit the corners. It might be need a little bit of assistance, um, but that's okay. Um, the notes in this one, lemon and juniper top notes. It's quite clever because you don't, you can if you really search for it, just pick up a hint of lemon, but it's not overpowering in there. You then have lang lang, um, baby rose uh, as the mid notes, and the one that's horrendous to pronounce, I think it's guiaca wood or guiaca wood, which is sweet wood and spicy perfume note, and powdery musk as the base note. So. It's just absolutely heavenly. They're all really nice. So, um, again, I can only... This one, sorry, I didn't leave you in burn times on these. Up to 28 hours on the small one, and they reckon up to 38 hours on the medium three-wick tumbler. But again, if you keep the wick short, um, you may get a bit longer. Um, really nice fragrances. They're all, um, as I say, very kind of expensive feeling fragrances. They're all rich and indulgent. Um, you can get them in stores, as I said now, going on the Yankee Candle website, I think, from uh, the 1st of September. I do believe QVC are going to be bringing some of these to screen as well, so keep your eyes peeled there. Um, but go out, sniff them, enjoy them. I do recommend them. They're really nice. They've all got decent throws. Um, and it's something new from Yankee, so let's see how this range goes over the next few months. Um, I've got a couple of videos coming up soon. Uh, now that I'm kind of back with Yankee and in the swing of things, I'm going to look back at some of the scents from the collections released earlier in the year. And then I'm going to go full on autumn with what Yankee had brought out for the uh, autumn season in the UK and Europe. Some great fragrances there. I'm really excited about looking at those. But that's the start with the Elevation collection. Very nice. Look great. Smell great. Thank you for watching. See you soon.